Ed Pisker's father is adamantly defending his son. Now, Pisker is from Munhall, but he is nationally known for his work as a cartoonist on Marvel Comics. He was scheduled for a show right here downtown until the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust postponed that show after accusations of sexual misconduct. All I'm going to tell you is a bunch of Ed Pisker's father was emotional when I spoke to him at his Munhall home, defending his son after accusations that the famous cartoonist seen here previously at his Munhall studio sent inappropriate messages to a girl in 2020 when she was 17. The messages she recently shared and claims are from Pisker show him commenting on images of her work, calling her a naughty girl and writing, quote, I feel like you'd be a good partner in crime. You're not a snitch, are you? The woman claimed online she was being groomed. Ed Pisker Sr. says no way. He has never, ever been in trouble, ever in his 40 years of living. And attorney Phil DeLicente says the messages aren't criminal. The age of consent in Pennsylvania, notwithstanding uh, corruption of a minor, is 16 years old. But those messages triggered others to come forward and his show downtown to be postponed. A statement from the Cultural Trust reads, The Pittsburgh Cultural Trust learned on Sunday of allegations of misconduct made by an individual against artist Ed Pisker, whose work was scheduled to be on exhibition at 707 Penn Gallery starting April 8, 2024. The Trust takes the allegations very seriously and decided yesterday to postpone the exhibition indefinitely. This is really one of those situations that in this cancel culture, what happens is you're canceled before the insinuations are determined as fact or fiction. We attempted to talk to the woman who posted the messages, but she was not interested. We tried to talk to Pisker too, but we couldn't reach him. His father, however, spoke out. I'll tell you this, he's totally innocent. It's unclear at this point whether Pisker's show scheduled here at the 707 Gallery will be rescheduled. Downtown Pittsburgh, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.